So after countless hours of playing, I have landed myself six fear mongers that I've kept hold of. Some I have obtained via the beauty of RNG, others have been sent to me by the legends on my Discord. Today I bring you my review of this bloody harvest exclusive shotgun, the fear monger. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also, every week I give away copies of this game to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so this Fearmonger is an exclusive drop to the Bloody Harvest event. You have until the 5th of December to get this from either a Loot Ghost, which are all the Golden Yellow Schools, or Captain Haunt down in Hekol. This Hyperion alien tech shotgun comes, I believe, in all elemental types. Although I have all except the corrosive version, which I'm yet to see, but I'm sure it exists. Now this shotgun shoots four projectiles that stick and do additional damage. And like I said, I have six of these. All I have used, all different in their own individual way. And I believe there's actually a place in the game for this shotgun. Now trying to compare a shotgun like this to something like the protuberance, the red line, the flacker, the face puncher and so forth is actually the wrong way of going about it. Because you wouldn't really compare the face puncher to the protuberance. You wouldn't really compare the red line to the flacker. Because in reality there's a place in various different builds for many types of shotguns. And the best praise I can give this fearmonger is it's in the same boat. I honestly feel this shotgun will be the party piece for many builds to come. I feel it's a shotgun for the future. I feel one day or another it will be a weapon a lot of people will be gutted they missed out on getting. Hear me out. We have seen various different builds pop up with certain weapons that are needed and that are the centerpiece of the build. These same builds appear almost daily and for the most part the party piece the weapon required has been with us since day one. And that's what I believe sometime soon will happen with this fear monger. It's a weapon yet to truly be figured out, yet to be discovered, yet to be taken advantage of. Now the versions I have consist of many different elemental types and for the most part all offering something unique. I have some higher damage versions, some bigger magazines versions, some offering cryo damage and anointed. It just goes to show the amount of variants that are in the game of this shotgun. Now my favourite which I would say I've used the most is probably this one here, the Undermining Essential Fearmonger. It has the most damage within my collection, it also fires an extra shot while under that terror effect which I can apply to myself via my shield or grenade. A close second would be my subsidised powerhouse fearmonger, with this having that shock element, but also has a chance of doing cryo damage while terrified. Then we have this one, the subsidised dynamic fearmonger. This one doing that fire damage and has a great magazine size of 20, with health regeneration while terrified too, which comes in very very handy indeed. Now the shotgun itself is one of those which takes a few seconds to actually work to full effect. As I said it shoots projectiles that stick and then do additional damage. But man, the damage they do is definitely something not to be put off by. With the plus 100 blast radius so for the most part, a plus critical hit damage too, and if you are lucky enough to get that great increased shield capacity also, I mean this is a very viable shotgun indeed. In my opinion definitely worth your time at least trying to get a few of them just to try out and experiment with. Yeah I know we need extra bank space people for all these goodies, which I'm sure will come soon. But yeah, these are my thoughts on the Fearmonger Bloody Harvest exclusive Hyperion Alien Tech Shotgun. It's a shotgun in my opinion yet to be truly discovered. Now I know there is a lot of people out there reluctant to actually farm some of these terrified uh, weapons because of the fact they think that once the event ends that they won't be able to kick in these anointed effects which is actually false. If you have a shield or a grenade or a weapon which applies uh, terror to yourself upon action skill end or melee or so forth these will still work when the event ends. I truly recommend you getting out there and farming for a shield which does this. So say on action skill end, you apply terror to yourself for the next 18 seconds. This is a must for any terror weapon, any terror anointed weapon you have post bloody harvest. So get out there and get one of these people. Now guys, I'd love to review other weapons too. If you guys enjoy my style of reviewing, just let me know down below in that comments section. I mean, I've looked on YouTube and read many that indeed take their time looking at weapons and what they're truly made for. So just let me know if you want to see more weapon reviews on my behalf. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.